everybody. Um, a couple nights ago, we did some emails, and we were sort of, who should talk about what? And what they said for me was budget shortfall. And I thought, <laughs> why me? Why do I always get the gloomy thing? And then I realized that with Delegate Frink no longer in the delegation, I'm actually the only one in Arlington that's on appropriations or Senate finance. So I'm going to give you the very gloomy news. We continue to need to make cuts. We have still have a shortfall. Since last March, that shortfall has become about $24.4 billion, and that's in the general fund of under $35 billion. It is huge. I spent today, and it's caused, by the way, um, largely by the sequestration, by the cutbacks in contracting by the federal government. We had hoped it would be sort of delayed, but what we found is the various um, contracting firms are anticipating the cuts, and so they're laying people off. So this is a serious and long-term problem we're going to be facing. And today, I spent four hours with the money committees listening to the public about the needs in the state. It is heartbreaking. Virtually every speaker was on public education. It's going to take at least two years for us to get back to the per pupil funding of 2008. It's going to take us two more years to get to that level. And that level was insufficient. And we have had person after person telling the heartbreaking stories of what's happening to their families because of our lack of services. We heard today from the mother of one of the children that died in the child care fire and from three of the grandparents of two of the children who died. This is something we have to work on. I'm so grateful to Barbara for, for putting her heart and soul into this. Um, just very briefly, my legislation, I'm putting in about 20 bills again. Um, this year it will be largely election law, not entirely, but largely election law. Um, I will have my usual no, in per no excuse in person absentee voted bill, which always fails. I'm hoping though to be able to do another bill. It will say among the uh, various um, excuses you don't have to give your religion when you say you have a religious obligation. That's none of those business. Yes. Also, I'm, I'm working with Rick Sullivan. I hope he'll take time to talk about some of the redistricting. Big exciting difference this year on getting nonpartisan redistricting commission. The business community is engaged along with most civic groups, and thank you, Arlington, for just joining them um, to try and make this happen. So thank you, and I hate to be always the gloomy one. <laughs>